Alrighty, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is my first vlog, so, you know, may not be the best thing ever, but I am, uh, currently in, uh, in my garage working on my TTR 110. So, I, uh, got back from the race at A-Works at Scrub Grass. There's the 125. But, uh, haven't done any maintenance on this bike in probably a year. Just been ripping it and haven't done anything with it. So I tightened the chain and everything. Ended up stripping out the chain adjuster. And that's that right there. So I uh, looked at the front sprocket and it's all loose. So just got it taken off and waiting on a call back from my buddy to uh, let me know what I need to do with it. So. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. And so this is my first vlog. This is uh, this is my 2015 TTR 125, and this is 2014 TTR 110. So pretty pretty clean bike. Not literally though, because haven't washed it in a while. But just uh, doing some maintenance on it today. It's a oh, it's a pretty crappy day out. So, just, uh, just hanging out, doing some maintenance on the bike, and so, just waiting on a call back from my buddy, and I'll update you guys with, when I get a hold of him. So, my buddy just stopped, and ended up, we ended up taking a look at it, got the piece that we needed for it, so, ended up just needing a new snap ring for it, snap ring had busted, cracked in a couple places, so, just gonna go ahead and put the snap ring back on and put the guard back on and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, well, we got her all back together, so it spins freely now. So, still a little, still a little dirty, but I'll work at that. Um, not a whole lot of else to do with the bike, so got her cleaned. I checked all the oil and gas, so not a whole lot else that needs to be done to it. So that's a little crooked from all the wrecks I've had. So the only other thing I am going to do now, though, is take the kickstand off, because, you know, he likes the kickstand, you know? So, we're going to go ahead and do that now. So. stand off sprocket all fixed and this bike is ready to roll so we'll, um, I think that's about all we need to do I need to uh, change the air filter or not change it I guess clean it clean the air filter in that bike and that should be all I have to do for now but I'm sure we'll find something else to do so we'll go ahead and get that bike out of the way and Get this bike moved over there, get the air filter out, clean it, get it 
lubed back up and put it back in and I guess I'll have to find something else to do. So I'll update you when I get everything put back and Alrighty, so moved. I got the uh, bikes all switched around. Got the bike moved over there and got the 125 moved over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing opened up and get the uh, air filter out of it, so first time I ever tried taking this thing uh, this air filter out when you get in here I'll show you um, there's like the you know the wing nut that holds the air, air filter on and uh, as you can see in there well I never realized that this thing pulled out like that so and then you can get to the whole thing so just uh, makes it a lot easier when you're trying to take it out instead of trying to jam your fingers in there but I never realized that so take this take this piece off here there you have it that's off we'll get her out of the framing here There you have it. There's your air filter. A little muddy down there in that corner. So, but there you have it. So I gotta clean this thing up a little bit. It's a little muddy. So now we've gotten that out. Not a whole lot else I got to do. So probably go ahead and wipe that out inside of there. It's looking a little. A little dirty in there, so we'll go ahead and clean that up in there and go ahead and clean these things up and we'll go ahead and I'll let you guys know what's what's next once I go ahead and get this stuff all done. So Alrighty, just warping by past some time here. Got the uh hole inside of uh that cleaned out there as you can see. I got it pretty well. As best I could at least. And uh took the air filter inside and cleaned it up a little bit so we're going to uh, probably call it a vlog you know wrap it up here got the uh, pit bike here the 110 all buttoned back up out of the way and so got the got the 125 all done and so probably going to uh, go ahead and call her a day so uh, this is Crazy297 here with you, and we'll catch you guys next time.